love it. Oh, oh. And you were right. Oh, you were right. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, Robin. What happened to your hair? My hair? Um, don't you like it? It's brown like mine. Yes, I got tired of being blonde. You look better this way. I feel better. You know what? What? You look kind of like me now. Yeah, I thought that too. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Maybe you can't be my mother. The way I used to be that from God. But people would tease together and think you're my mother. Maybe. Do you think they will? Oh, Robin. Oh, it's so good to have you in my arms again. I've been so worried about you. So was I. Where's Grandma? Is she all right? Yes, she's fine. She's in New York. How's your ankle? Oh, it's better. Anna. What's going on here? Yes. Why did it go on the Um... It's a long story. I'll tell you about it later. But first, I should call Grandma. Uh, what? Uh, there is? A grandmother? Philomena. Philomena. Hello? Yes. Do you know Robin? Yes. Can you come nice with me? Very. I have other friends, Felicia and Briscoe. Oh, Felicia and Briscoe? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Philomena? Robin's safe. She's here. She's with me. Oh, oh thank God. Thank God. Where is she? She's here. She's with me. She's perfectly oh, safe. And where are you now? I'm at Robert's um, in Port Charles. And, and Robin is with you? Yes. She's here. Yes? Yes? Can I talk to Grandma? Yes, of course you can. Um, Philomena, Robin wants to talk to you. But don't talk in front of her. No. I don't know any answers yet, so um, we can talk about this tomorrow. In the meantime, everything is all right. Mm-hmm. Here she is. Now, not too long. Grandma? Yes? How are your legs? Oh, I, I am fine. And, and love says that you're all right, too. Yeah. I missed you. How come you didn't come for me? Oh, and everything is all right now, and and we'll be together very, very soon. I think I'm crying. Oh, um, she always cries when she's happy. Now, you say goodbye, and you can have a long chat with her tomorrow. Grandma? Yes? Love says we can talk a lot tomorrow. Yes, yes. Oh, I love you. Tomorrow we talk, and I love you. You piccolo amore, buona notte. Right. Now then, from what I remember, madam, you were in bed before all this started, weren't you? Yes, but I'm wide awake. Well, yes, but I'm sure that as soon as your little head hits that pillow, you shall be off into daydream land. Mm. Now, um, which uh, room is she sleeping in, Robert? Robert. Huh? Oh, what'd you say? I said, um, which room is, is Robin sleeping in? Upstairs. I'll show you. Okay. And when we get up there, I shall tuck you up and tell you a bedtime story. I, t I told her one. You did? First time. It was scary. About, um, good guys and bad guys. It sounds, uh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Best I could do. <laughs> um, will you be here when I wake up in the morning? Of course you will. Yes. You know something? What? If I had a lemon I bet I could go to sleep. Uh, fresh out, I'm afraid. It's a terrible headache. Oh, I mean, never mind.
Checking to see if the lady's coming out tonight needs an escort. Uh, no, the lady will be spending the evening with my other guest. Good enough. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is something you could do for me if you could spare a man. Name it, Mr. Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Send someone down to the waterfront to pick up three lemon ices. He's nice, isn't he? Very. Now come along, madam, because I think that you're just Door, you know, pretending that you're not going to keep up. You are going to sleep, madam. If I am going to make you. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, hold on. Can't you just stay in the house? Oh, no, it's all right. It's okay. Cameron's getting some preliminary autopsy reports from the car. Just relax, okay? Okay, thanks a lot. The only thing we're certain of right now is that Josh's death was not due to a head injury. That's it, Patrick. I'm not to blame? Maybe not. Well, then what caused Josh's death? We don't know yet. Hey, Patrick. Oh, great. Oh, God, God. You have no intention of holding him now, do you? No, no, I don't, Jake, oh. but uh, Dr. O'Connor. Yes, Captain. You don't have any plans to leave town, do you? No, sir. Until I know the exact cause of death, I may need you for more questions. I understand. Did the coroner suggest what might have happened? No, Jake, you know our coroner. Yes, I do. He only deals in facts, and the only fact we have right now is number one. No head injury. And that's the most important fact. It's certainly... Doctor, is. you may leave now, but uh, as I said, when I get the full report, I'll be in touch with you because I may need you for questioning. I understand. I'm here. I'll, I'll do anything I can to help. Good. Well, we better get back to the brownstone. There are a couple of worried people waiting there for us. Come on. <laughs> for dinner. Tanya's helping and Tony's doing the salad and we have enough food. Jenny's keeping something warm for me. Thanks, Carly. Okay. Bye. No, thank you. I've got to get to the hospital. I'd suggest getting some food in Terry, though. I'll try. Make sure she stays in bed. She needs all the sleep she can get. She's had a bad day. <sighs> yeah, it's been awful. Oh, are you here from uh, Patrick? Please let us know. I will. I'm sure Jacob's supposed to. Let me know. thinking about Josh. I can't, I can't help it. It's all right. He was so giving to people. I know. I can't believe it. I can't believe this actually happened. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Robin to see me like this. I can't let her see me like this. Felicia, uh, you all right? Uh, Bobby, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her home. Can I use your phone? Sure. Must be really tough on Terry, too. Josh was wonderful with her. Yeah, he was. Robert, yes, Frisco. No, we haven't heard anything else about it. So what I'm calling about is um, Felicia's having a little bit of a rough time of it right now. So, yeah. Are you sure? All right, well, I'm going to buzz her home, okay? What did he say? Uh, it's no problem. You know, Anna will watch Robin tonight. Anna Devane is back in town. cold chicken if anybody wants them when they get home. And no calls from Jake yet? Nope. Well, I'm glad you made Frisco take Felicia home. Yeah. What do you suppose happening with Patrick? I hope nothing because he's a nice man. Yeah, he is like Kevin. Yeah, I owe Kevin a lot for all those massages. Oh, well, Kevin may be all right, but you don't know Patrick. Honey, what we know so far is good. Oh, you only know the surface. Hey, whatever I see on the surface, I don't see a man that would kill Josh, not even accidentally. See? See how he's fooled everybody? He never gets punished. Now, wait a minute. We haven't heard all the facts yet, Harry. Tony's right. I mean, I should think you'd be mourning Josh. I don't understand. What is all this anger? Right. Mourning Josh. I mean, he was my first real friend in Port Charles. He's dear. He's kind. He wanted to protect me. He wanted to watch over me. You don't think I'm mourning him? 
Look back. Hey, everybody. What? Patrick's been released. He's not being held for Josh's murder. If you've seen what I mean, never get punished! 